Moon, Pisces. Some interesting energies this week. And Pisces, you could have something life-altering happening or occurring, or it's a harbinger week. I do see people or energies around you. This is like a Gemini, a Leo, and a significance with a Virgo energy, okay? Expect some turn of events or quick sudden changes, okay? Um, you got new opportunities that are coming up. The next couple weeks, there could be change after change because you got some big changes coming up. I do see with money, this could be something new coming in or just say you start a new job, you get your first paycheck, something like that. So I see money and additional money coming in. Um, be warned and careful of who is your surroundings. Be warned of your surroundings. Always be aware of it. I do see a wish coming to fruition here. That's looking good. Just... Be cautious this week somehow. It's a general reading, but I see being cautious, okay? Now, this is an important message for someone out there, or because, or I don't know, I'm seeing this for Pisces in general. There is a significance with a Virgo or someone who exhibits that energy. Now, it goes this way. You may hear this is either you need to take back your power with this person. I think it's someone you already know. Um... But for some of you, you may hear some significant news about this person. Um, this person may... There's a big ending or something that's going on with this person. It's like a... I don't know. Can be negative, but it can be... This person is, go, is like, I don't know, maybe leaving your life somehow. Okay, so I want to say that is for some of you. Okay, so I do see that kind of energy. All right, um, Pisces, you're going through some big transitions. You have endings, and this is a final closure for some of you. This is almost what I see with cancer sometimes. Um, it's a purging, and everyone's going to go through that cycle. Um, you know, some of you are going through it now. There is a strong ending and a final closure. Transformation, it's death, it's rebirth, it's a big, big major change. Now, I want to say that that could be, you know, something has to end for you beginnings, okay? I do see also it's a powerful new beginning. It's a growth. Um, this is new with finances. Uh, this is something of value. Your life, this could be a new beginning. From a big ending, you got something that now is presented or the universe kind of like gives you... Um, a chance now to live your life somehow the way you want. I don't know why that's coming out of my mouth, but it is because it means that for someone, okay? Matters of the heart is powerful too. I see um, a big like relief and happiness with family or people like you with you live uh, that you live with. It's like um, you're relieved, you're happy. This is like a family um, get together, happiness, okay? Your relationships, too, should be very, there's a happiness. There's a, maybe a wish fulfillment or um, maybe you have heart-to-heart -heart talks if you're in a partnership, you know, if you have a partner that uh, happiness surrounds it. This could be a, like a, something to celebrate. Maybe someone gets engaged. Maybe um, something in your relationship that affects the family and that it's like a, it's a happy energy, though, I have to say, okay? Work. Some of you, either you start on a new job or something you may feel a little bit lonely or there you're going through a learning experiences, experience, experience. This is also climbing the summit, okay? So it's like you're climbing. Um, maybe you need, you're more to yourself, but your wisdom, trust where you're being led. You have a lot of mentors around you and you could be mentoring others too. So I do see that for some of you, this is school where you're just more focused on your studies, okay? I do see finances too there is like a this is for some of you taking time off and you get some kind of compensation okay so I do see like money coming in that way um, maybe it's a family leave I don't know I'm seeing that kind of energy that's connected to money um, and you get paid for it too I do see that for some of you this is also um
finances connected to either a lawsuit, court, or some kind of a contract, and you finally get either, just say maybe, okay, this is an example, maybe you had, there was, um, you didn't pay off a credit card, they took you to court, and now it's like, you're, it's paid off, or it's relieved, or you get some kind of a deal from it, or a continuance, there's something there connected to finances. For others of you, this is um, a time of um, just contemplating where your investments are going to go, okay? So it's where, where to invest your money. And this is gonna be something sound too, uh, a really sound night's nice investment, like investing with the home or a new property, there is something there. Okay, you leave the week really with a strong, new, powerful beginning. This is fate, destiny coming into play, taking a leap of faith, um, beautiful energy, I have to say. It's like you don't know where you're going. It's like rewriting your whole story because you have an opportunity to kind of change your life again, all right? Now, I wanna say, it's a time to retreat. It's a time to take uh, rethink some things too because we're going through so much changes. When there's so much changes, it's time to rethink things. All right, I do see retreating is very important. And it's important to stop trying to make something happen because it's like the universe is kind of doing it for you in a way. So especially if something's not working, it's like just go with the flow. There are things that are dissipating. For some of you, you're losing interest in some things. It's just time to kind of like reevaluate some things as well, okay?